Today we're going to explore the age-old question of whether or not traps really matter in Clash of Clans. There are seven types of traps in the game. Three ground traps, two air traps, and two hybrid traps. First up, we have Bomb. This little guy may not be able to take down big troops, but it's surprisingly effective against barbarians, miners, giants, and even the mighty Valkyrie. Next we have the giant bomb trap, which is like the bigger, badder brother of the regular bomb. This bad boy hits hard and can even take down half of a golem's HP. There's also the spring trap, which can send not only ice golems, but also yetis flying. Moving on to air traps, we have the red air bomb and the black air bomb. Air bomb can wipe out your balloon army if you're not careful. Now let's talk about hybrid traps. The skeleton trap can help your cannon take down a P.E.K.K.A. and the tornado trap can be incredibly helpful in maximizing the effectiveness of your inferno tower. But let's get real. How do all these traps actually perform when combined with defenses? We all know that our defenses are the true heavy lifters when it comes to defending our villages. So how much do these traps really matter? To find out, I've loaded a random defense formation with traps and we'll compare the results when we use traps versus when we remove them. So fasten your seatbelt, hit that subscribe button, and let's find out. I'll use a 320 housing space army to attack this simple formation, without using any spells to aid my troops. First up, I'll use a simplified lava loon strategy with two lava hounds and the rest balloons. As you can see, this strategy struggles with so many traps lying around. Even the lava hounds melt away with ease. Next, let's try a golem, witch, wizard, and P.E.K.K.A combo. Or let's just call it Go YWP. This army composition contains small troops, medium troops, big hitters, and tanks. So it should showcase how effective traps are against different types of troops. I think Tornado Trap is the MVP here. Now let's see how small troops really struggle against those bombs. Barbarians and archers stand no chance, especially with traps in the mix. With the help of the trusty scattershot, we can easily wipe them out. Queen Walk is still pretty effective, but skeleton traps and tornado traps can seriously mess with this strategy. Some black bombs can also snipe healers, while giant bomb keep trying to take out unicorn for good. Good news for all you Electro Titan spammers out there. They can still manage to beat this formation, even though they're wiped out almost entirely. Pekka, on the other hand, is not so lucky. Combined with the scattershot, the tornado trap really screws them up good. Electro dragons and super dragons are also stopped with ease. Well, not really easily, but stopped nonetheless. When the big troops got screwed, you know it's not going to be good for small troops. Super Barbarians are rendered useless thanks to all these traps. Hog Riders don't stand a chance with so many bombs in the way. As you can see, this defense formation with traps performed quite well and was able to stop 320 housing space worth of powerful troops. But now, let's remove all those traps and see if the formation can still maintain its incredible performance. We can see that Hog Riders are able to smoothly ride in and take down a lot of the defenses before being taken down themselves by the Bomb Tower and other high-end defenses. Pekka, which wasn't very impressive before, can now easily beat this formation. Electro Titans can even destroy this base with their eyes closed. Archer Queen can really showcase her quality when traps or walls are not standing in her way. Queen Walk nearly destroys that monolith, and Super Barbarian rampages freely without fear of the traps. Even the Electro Dragon manages to recover its dignity by wiping this defense formation clean. However, the Barbarian Archer army is still easily stopped by the Scattershot. The Golem, Wizard, Witch, and Pekka army almost beats this. With a little better deployment, they could have achieved a better result. Finally, the simplified Lava Loon army destroys the entire formation with ease. Well, not that easily, but they managed to do it anyway. 
Maybe all these traps may seem trivial on their own, and although they can't deal a lot of damage individually, when combined with defenses and placed correctly, they can significantly improve our defensive capabilities. I tried replacing all those traps with just one rage spell tower that affects all high-end defenses, and the formation with traps still achieved better results. But what do you think? Do you think traps are that important? Well, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.